Hey everybody, I'm RJ with Brew Chatter. And I'm Josh. Today we're gonna show you step-by-step -step how to modify your 10 gallon igloo cooler as a mash tun. Now this belongs to a customer and they already got a start as you can see, but what we're going to do is show you how we do it and take you through the whole process. Yeah, some of the tools that you're gonna need in order to set this mash tun up uh, with the way that we do it in the hardware that we use is an inch and a quarter in wrench, uh, two one inch wrenches, seven eighths wrench, three quarter inch wrench, and an inch and three quarter hole saw, cordless drill with a step bit, tubing cutter, and then you're gonna need your actual parts for the mash tun, which is the curved false bottom, thermometer, two bulkheads, ball valve, and a compression fitting, and some pipe tape to uh, help avoid leaks. You will also need a beer. Yes, I must have a beer. Our holes already set and drilled to one inch, so now that all of our fittings are pre-taped, we are ready to go. Now we're gonna install this bulkhead. Yeah, so we'll start out by installing the bottom bulkhead first, and we'll just work our way up. So in order to install the bottom bulkhead, uh, like we said, it's been drilled out to one inch. He'll, RJ will go ahead and set it in there. And you want the one inch half of the fitting going in to the mash tun and the half inch fitting pointing out. And then once that's set in there, then you'll take your weldless washer and then your hard washer and then your nut and your weldless gasket, bulkhead gasket goes on the inside, not the outside. A lot of mash tubs we've seen come in the store that have leaking issues, they have this on the outside. So as long as you have this gasket on the inside with this washer, which is imperative, and the nut, you should not have any leaks. The reason you need to have this washer on here is so that the nut is still allowed to spin and it doesn't catch on your weldless gasket when you're installing it. That's uh, one of the biggest problems when you're installing these gaskets is they don't have a washer there. When they tighten it up, the nut grabs that, that weldless gasket and then it starts to turn and break and just a mess. But with this washer in there, it helps apply even pressure to that gasket and it allows to nut the nut to spin. Exactly. So yeah, go ahead and throw that in there. And then you're gonna need an inch and a quarter wrench for that big nut on the inside. And you're gonna need one inch on the outside. So you're gonna need two wrenches. Or you can use two crescent wrenches and just open them up and get them tightened down in there. You don't need an insane amount of torque on these bulkhead finnies, but they do need to be snug and tight, but they don't have to be like sit there and reefed on, just, just enough to get them nice and snug. And as long as you got that Teflon tape on there, you got the gaskets in the right location and that washer on there, you'll be pretty set and you'll have a really nice clean install with no leaks. And then uh, next, once your bulkhead is installed on the cooler and tightened up nice and snug, ready to go, uh, you'll start to install your 3 8 compression fitting on the inside of the cooler, inside of the bulkhead fitting. And once you uh, install this in there, it'll allow you to set up to cut this tube down to what you need. So you're gonna have to probably cut about three to four inches off of here, you know, right around here, and then you're gonna have to cut this piece down here. So by um, putting that fitting in first and the false bottom, it'll allow you to grab Sharpie, mark up where you need to make your cuts, and then make your cuts, and then go together. Now that you've measured and cut the hard tube that is gonna fit behind the, that's going to go into the compression fitting into your false bottom, uh, it's time to just make sure everything fits right. You can take that nut off and set it up and get it to where everything just fits in there. You know, it's gonna be a little snug, but it's, it shouldn't be overly tight. It just be snug. And then just make sure that hard pipe fits in there all right, and then you'll be good. And then when you're ready, just start pulling out your tube and take out your compression fitting. And then you're ready to install the ferrule onto your pickup tube. So when you do this, you're gonna have two pieces inside of this compression fitting. You're gonna have this small piece here then you're gonna have your compression piece. This piece allows the nut to spin to compress this over the hard tube. Once this happens, this will be compressed onto your pickup tube and it will not come off. So make sure you got a good, got it in there all the way when you crush this. So you have your nut, set your fittings in there. Which way does that ferrule go? 
goes towards the back. So yeah, you want the curve of the ferrule towards the back, this way. Because it has some, it's concaved a little bit in that fitting and it allows it to crush. So you set these in your nut, one here. Make sure you got them in there. Or actually, it's a little easier to just set your tube through. Set that piece on. Set this piece on. So it should look just like that. So you got a nice little piece on here. And then right now it'll slide wherever you want it. But once you tighten it down, it's permanent. It's gonna stay there, you're gonna have to cut off. And then now, you're gonna take it, push it into your fitting, slide the nut up, thread that on, and then you're gonna tighten it up. So this is one inch, and then this is three quarter. Now that you have your pickup tube cut down to what you need, and you've test fit it inside your mash tun to make sure that it's gonna line up and go in okay uh, once you have your compression fitting on there. Uh, just make sure it's easy to be able to slide the false bottom down in there, get it into the fitting, so that way uh, when you need to clean it and everything like that, it's easy to pull in and out. So now that you got all test fit, your pickup tube's done, you pulled out your compression fitting, uh, you're ready to uh, install the pickup tube to the compression fitting and compress the, your ferrule in there. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take this nut off of your compression fitting, take your fittings out. So there's two pieces to this compression fitting. You have this piece, which allows the nut to turn and compress on the compression fitting. And then you have the actual compression fitting that's a little concaved. So you're gonna want these two pieces on there, sort of hard to see the camera product, like this on there. So the way to do this is you install the nut of your pickup tube, like so. Then you put your first piece on, which is like so. And then this one with the narrower part towards the back, going on like so. And it's gonna look just like that. And then you get your compression fitting, fit the tube in there. You'll notice how it's fitting in there like so. Slide the nut over it, tighten it down. And now it's time for you to compress this nut onto the fitting. So you're gonna need a wrench to hold here. And then this is the nut you're gonna be turning. And once you turn this nut, it's gonna compress that fitting and this is gonna be a permanent piece. So that way it is tight and it will not leak. Once you got everything compressed and set, uh, you're gonna notice this fitting will not move and it's not gonna come off of there. It's crushed on there. So you're good to go. You got your nut on there. You got your compression fitting and you'll basically just set it in there. Have a really nice setup. Tighten it up. Bam, you're good to go. Now you can take this um, compression fitting pickup tube and install it into your cooler and then uh, tighten up your compression fitting into the back of your bulkhead and false bottom's done, it's installed, it's ready to go. The cool part about this setup is that you can just unscrew that nut and pull your whole false bottom and dip tube and everything out whenever you want and reinstall it once you're done cleaning. Yes, it all, it all takes is, you don't want to take off the whole compression, just the nut. Exactly. Take off just the nut and then you can pull your false bottom in and out as much as you want. Just when you're mashing, just put it on there Tighten this guy up and you're good. Now that your false bottom and your bulkhead are all installed, everything's ready to go, everything's tightened down, all there's left to do is put on your ball valve and add your chosen quick disconnect, barb nipple, whatever you're using to integrate it into your system. This part, of course, is super easy. Everything's already Tefloned. All you have to do is literally spin on the ball valve, put it where you want it, and add your chosen fitting to the end. In this case, what we're installing is a half inch barb nipple, and this is perfect for half inch silicone hosing and integrates into just about any system. So now that we have our ball valve, our false bottom, and our bottom bulkhead installed, what we're going to do is install our thermometer. Now, as you can see, our customer already drilled this out. Usually we use an inch and three quarter inch hole saw. It makes a smaller hole and makes it a little bit cleaner. That being said, this is gonna work just fine. 
we have a one inch hole right in the middle, which is perfect for our bulkhead. So when you decide where you want your thermometer, you wanna remember that for most brews, you want that thermometer mid wart. That's gonna give you the most accurate temperature reading. So that's why it, it looks like it's almost directly above the bulkhead, even though if you look on the inside, it's right about mid wart, just about no matter what you're, you're brewing up. So now what we're gonna do is actually install this bulkhead. You'll see that this bulkhead is a little bit different from the other bulkhead in that it's got a female fitting on the out as opposed to the male fitting with the ball valve goes on. That's because we're gonna thread the thermometer into it. It's exactly like the bottom bulkhead fitting. You wanna put in your gasket, then your washer, then the nut. That way that washer pushes the, the gasket against the bulkhead of the cooler and that nut ha still has free room to spin. Tighten it down and screw your thermometer in. Uh, we like to use the thermometer with the six inch probe because you get a better overall wart temperature reading. And as you can see, it pretty much hides that hole that's already in there. And had you used an inch and three quarter, it would hide it completely. It's a pretty clean installation and one of the better mash tons that we've used. And that, my friends, is how you set up your very own insulated cooler mash tun. It's obviously very easy to do. Use the thread-on uh, Home Depot version cooler to maximize the space. Yeah, all the stainless that we used in this video today, you can get in a kit on our website underneath mash tun kit. And it'll basically have the ball valve, false bottom, compression fittings, thermometer, bulkheads, everything you need to set up this cooler other than the cooler itself. And of course, at brewchatter.com, orders over $59 ship free. Brew on. Brew on.